Okay guys, here's some functions on the Pocket Pro. We're gonna push the bottom key and hold it to power on. And the backlight will come on. Right now we're in conductivity mode. We're gonna push and hold the top key to change the perimeters. And we can cycle through there. You'll see the perimeters moving from salinity, pH, conductivity, and it'll just keep cycling through as long as you keep your finger held down and pushed down. We're going into pH, conductivity, it's just cycling through. Whenever you want to stop and let go, there we stopped on pH. Okay, now you can hold the middle key and hold it down to enter settings. You'll see the settings there and no flash. Uh, the first one is the units. You can uh, change the unit from Celsius to Fahrenheit, whichever you prefer. And then when you press the middle button again, then you're going to go to the buffer and you want to put this one on USA. That's the buffer preference for auto calibration. You want that on USA. You hit the button again and we're going to go to the standards. This is auto recognition for the for the um, for the standards for conductivity and this is the temperature reference correction value this is uh, defaulted to 25 degrees celsius or 77 degrees fahrenheit this is the uh, temperature compensation factor this is defaulted at two this is the tds factor it ranges from 0 0.4 and up it comes defaulted at 7.1 and here is the salinity units you can change from parts per thousand or percentage you'd like to keep that on parts per thousand here is the auto off after eight minutes if not being used i like to keep this one on here's the auto calibration reminder for ph so it'll give you a notification when it is time for you to calibrate and here's the reset to factory default key it says no. So when you hold that button, it'll end. When you hold down the center key, you can exit the settings. Okay, let's get into the calibration here now. So we're gonna take our Pocket Pro, and it's uh, kept wet in a little bit of uh, tap water here. We can uh, remove the cap and get rid of that. And we've rinsed it and rinsed the cap. Uh, we're in the conductivity settings now this is a quick and easy um, calibration here with all the hawk equipment so you can just open up your singlet package here and get that prepared um, you just put yourself in the conductivity mode hit the center button once to enter the calibration now we can take the cap off the unit and we can take the conductivity solution and fill just to the uh, fill line there, just to the bottom of that fill line. There you go. All right, now take the Hot Pocket Pro and put it in the conductivity solution. It's going to auto recognize to 1413. And when this uh, settles out, okay, there we've settled out. Now we can hit the button. You'll see it flash three times. There we go. And uh, it's ended and we've got that calibrated. Now we're going to switch over to the uh, pH solution so we can rinse and always rinse the cap and, and uh, get that all cleaned up. So now we're going to cycle over from conductivity to pH. So you're going to have to hold on that top button till it moves over. TDS. And then we're going to move one more to there we're in salinity. One more there you go we're in ph All right. like i said you got to rinse and clean the cap in between calibrations from your from your uh, buffers so we're going to take the cap off and we'll get our ph7 buffer and we'll open that up okay now we're going to take our cap and we're going to fill again to that bottom fill line with the pH 7 buffer solution uh, like I said with this Hawk unit it's a quick and easy calibration there we've settled out it's flashing three times now you'll see the 10 and the 4 
flashing at the bottom. That's just letting you know that you can calibrate um, with the 10.0 calibration buffer fluid or the 4.0. But we're just doing the 7.0 right now. That's good enough for what we're doing. So there we go, we're calibrated. And you can see it reading 6.9, 6 6.99. Okay, here we have uh, our water sample that we're testing from the pool. And it's coming in at a 7.8 pH and 69.1 degree Fahrenheit. There we switched over to the conductivity. We have a conductivity of 4.25 microsiemens. And here's the conversion for your micro siemens. Okay, we'll switch over to total dissolved solids. We've got 3.03, .03, and you times that by a thousand, and that would give you 3,030 parts per million of your total dissolved solids. Here's our salinity coming in at 2.14 parts per thousand. You can uh, take the 2.14 and multiply it by a thousand. That'll give you 2,140 parts per million salinity. That's how easy that is. Here's where you want to subtract your salinity from your total dissolved solids. And that will give you your true total dissolved solids. And here we have 890 parts per million. It's always a good idea to take a reading of your fill water and get the total dissolved solids and that'll give you a ballpark of where you're starting at with your fill water with total dissolved solids. Now, the ideal total dissolved solids is between 1,000 and 2,000 parts per million and a maximum is 2,500 to 3,000 parts per million. So we were looking good here. We're under a thousand. Here we go. I just want to show you here that our salinity is uh, 2.14 parts per thousand. That's 2,140 parts per million at 70 degree Fahrenheit. And we're going to head on outside here. Let's take a sample of this pool and we'll do a comparison of the Hawk Pocket Pro Plus multi-tester and the results we got on the salinity and we'll cross-reference that with the Taylor K1766 sodium chloride. One drop equals 200 parts per million. Let's get into it. Here's what we're going to use to do the test. Okay, we're going to start with our sample into the sample tube. And here we're using the uh, Taylor Speedster and the Taylor Sample Sizer. This is a 10 mil sample. And uh, this gives us an exact and accurate sample size every time. It's a 10 and 25 mil. This sample is the 10 mil sample. We're going to drop in the magnetic pill for stirring. We're going to take the Taylor Reagent R0630. And we're going to add one drop. Our pool sample is going to change to yellow and we can cap our reagent sample here and put that aside. Now we're going to count by drop with the uh, 0718 reagent and keep track of these drops. Each drop equals 200 parts per million and we're looking for a end point or change in color from yellow to a salmon red brick salmon color. You'll see the change here. There we go. That's on the 13 drops. So you would take 13 times 200 and you're going to end up with 2600 parts per million sodium chloride. Here we can do our test with our Pocket Pro Plus. Take the cap off 
That was sample water already, so it's uh, already been rinsed and cleaned, and this cap is ready to go. So here we'll add our sample up to just below the fill line. We can take that and put our Pocket Pro in here and power it on. Two point one three parts per thousand. So here we're coming up with a salinity of 2,120 parts per million. With our Taylor test kit, we ended up with 2,600 parts per million. If you have a, a difference like this, I would, I would recommend going with the, the low side so you don't overdose your pool with salt. And uh, this will give you a real good idea of where your salinity is for your chlorine generator. Okay, that's the comparison between the Hawk Pocket Pro Plus Multi-Tester 2 for salinity and the Taylor K1766 one drop equals 200 parts per million salinity, sodium chloride. Okay, that's it for this video on the Hawk Pocket Pro Plus Multi-Tester. I hope you enjoyed the uh, calibration video and got some information out of that. Uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications make sure to keep an eye out on my channel for upcoming videos like this one on water chemistry and testing procedures hope you enjoyed this video take care and see you soon